What is up everybody? It is Mitchell here, aka MeWe, doing one of my first, I would say, playthroughs after Thanksgiving. It is in the indie game Don't Starve. Now, I put up a playthrough or walkthrough, yes, about two days ago, but I didn't do any commentating because this was before Thanksgiving, I really didn't have the time to commentate on it. I, usually I would have at least done a post commentary, but I just really didn't want to, and I, so I decided why not put it up, and I'll commentate for the next one. So this one will be the second part of Don't Starve, but it'll be continuing off the first one, and I'll do commentating in this one. Now, I was playing it before. Ah, uh, jeez, my game just isn't responding. There we go. So I was doing this before, and I, I, I am really starting to enjoy this game a lot. They always, they put the connections between Minecraft and this because Minecraft is supposed to go around collect things and do all that, and I completely agree. This game is definitely like Minecraft. Um, the only hard part is, I mean, I know this is in the alpha stage, so you really don't. There there are a lot of problems with it. One thing I could show you one big problem. Oh, man, I thought I had one. Okay, let me, let me go make one. There we go. Um, what I'll show you here is trying to catch uh, animals. I mean, you might get lucky. I get lucky a good amount of times because I kind of get really close to it and make sure they have only one way to go. But look at that. It goes right under the trap, and you don't even catch it. And it kind of sucks. I mean... I would love for the game when the when it updates <clears throat> when it updates to actually make it a little bit easier to catch animals. Granted, if you watched my first part, I think I caught about like ten animals in the first video, so it wasn't too hard. But I mean, I mean look how close that got. That that's just ridiculous in my opinion. But <clears throat> yeah. So, you, some of you, the few people that watch my videos, you're probably wondering, oh, what happened to the WWE games? Well, I am playing that slowly, but I really am trying to transition into other things, and I just downloaded Fraps onto my computer, so I will be uploading s <clears throat> Steam things, and I'm going to, I mean, I might want to do Minecraft, I'm not sure. But I'm probably just gonna do Steam games, indie games, stuff like that for fun. But a beehive. Really buzzing with activity. Never would have guessed. I wonder if there's something I can create. A bear trap, straw roll. Uh, sleep through the night. So that's definitely like a Minecraft thing right there. But right now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find um, some rocks. I can't find squaddle of rocks. But, um... There it is. Okay, so I just gotta go straight that way to get back to my place. Now, <clears throat> I'm doing this video pretty late at night, so I'm gonna sound a little tired. Um, but I didn't upload any videos yesterday because of uh, Thanksgiving and I'm just curious how how was your Thanksgiving I mean I pers I love Thanksgiving yesterday oops go back go back go back go back <clears throat> I love my Thanksgiving <clears throat> sorry um, that getting a little sick from all the food I ate um, the one thing I really loved about Thanksgiving was all the food and all the pie at the at the dessert <laughs> but um I actually did experience my first Black Friday yesterday, and I have to say I am never doing it again, mainly because it is a total pain in the ass. I mean, there were women that were just beating the crap out of people just to get to it. I was up in uh, Central California with my family to 
spend Valentine's or uh, Thanksgiving with them, and we, uh, me and some of my friends, we went up to Walmart because it was really close, and we had to wait in line for 30 minutes just to get in. They actually set it up so 20 people go in at a time. I'm guessing so that people don't get trampled, which I understand. That's a pretty good reason, <clears throat> but once you get in. Oh my god, it was just ridiculous how many people were in there. And I was actually going in there to get um, some stuff for my Xbox. And normally a game, a new game, would cost fifty nine ninety nine. I went over there, all of it was sold out. Every single game I wanted was sold out. And they were discounted, but not like ridiculous amounts so that it would be like, oh, everyone's going to buy it. It was discounted from fifty nine ninety nine to fifty nine ninety six. It went down a whole three cents, and every game I wanted went downhill. Uh, not down. Went uh, every search for it went downhill, and every game I wanted just disappeared. I was in shock. I was like, I never thought three cents would make a difference to people, but. Apparently, three cents is a lot. Actually, I was in the car with one of my friends, and she's like, "Hey, three cents—that's a—that's a down payment on a pack of gum." And I'm just, and we just start cracking up. But I mean, three cents. Come on, guys. It shouldn't be that much to get rid of everything. But whatever. But the one reason I'm never gonna be doing um, Black Friday again because one woman. I, I told my friends, I'm like, guys, we should so get a cart and just pull, bulldoze through people. As a joke. And lo and behold, I didn't think people would actually get a cart and start bulldozing through me. Literally, one woman actually rammed her cart into me. And it. I was like, you bitch. I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. I, I, I was just in complete... Oh, sweet, I cut. I was just in complete shock, like... Does, does, do you really have the nerve? Do you need to get something that bad that, you, that you'll just run over a, a kid? And... So I'm definitely never doing Black Friday ever again. And a lot of my friends are asking... Why? Like, what? what's so great about Black Friday? It's like, why do people do it? Well, the reason... I've noticed... And I think this is the real reason why people do Black Friday... Is so that, um, the, was it? The, the people camp out, and what do they do? They buy about, what, $2,000 worth of stuff? But then they sell it on Craigslist for, five. they make $5,000 worth of profit. So, I basically told my friends that, and they're like, wow, I can't believe that. But unfortunately, it's true. People actually will stand out line for four, not even four hours, like, the whole day just to make a f just to buy two thousand dollars worth of stuff and then um just resell it later i think it's stupid but there are people that do it why won't you eat eat damn uh let's see what else there is uh berries cook but when they heard that they were like i'm in shock i didn't think people would ever do that but unfortunately people do it and I think it's kind of stupid, but whatever. I, um, I actually went over to Target actually today, and it was a lot nicer then than it was yesterday at Walmart. But we, I looked in at um, all the stuff, and they had a lot of good things on discount. Not much left, but they had a good amount of stuff. I won't complain about that. Uh, hold on, I gotta get some more firewood or fuel. Um, that wasn't too bad. But, I, I, like I said before, I, I am never doing, um, uh, I forgot what it's called. I just completely forgot. Um, Black Friday, that's it. I'm never doing Black Friday again. No matter how much someone pays me. I will never do Black Friday. It uh, actually, my girlfriend apparently went over there um, yesterday, 
didn't get home till four in the morning and I felt so bad her dad made her do it I was just like I, I'm so sorry but she was a trooper she went in and did a, and bought some stuff she bought some uh, DVDs and some music I think but I mean that's the only reason some people will do Black Friday just to get those good deals but I personally think it's not worth it well, not worth the time the effort the pain as I felt but whatever so right now I'm, I just I'm trying to get my thing up to 200 so I can uh, open up a spear and when I get the spear I can actually go and attack enemies and get um, I'm not sure what they get but hopefully it's stuff that it's some good stuff Unfortunately, you don't really get much out of all of this stuff. I did. I put something in once, and it got me like 20 intelligence. I had no idea what it was. Let's see, let's put in a thing of flint. One. Wow. Okay. Well, I'll get a 200 now. So there we go. Research. Um, can I make a... Dang it. No, I can't. Wait, why can't I? Oh, I need cut grass. That's grass. Damn. Let's see, maybe I can plant it. Hey. Oh, what was that? Pick up seeds. Let us plop. Let's cook. There we go. Eat. So, um, basically all my videos are just going to be probably one, one or two nights. This one is just going to be one night. Um, and next video I'll be doing, I'm going to keep looking for rocks. But I'm also, let's see, what do I need to make the spear? And I'm also going to actually head out and look for some more cut grass. So, um, in the next video I'll be looking for rocks and cut grass to make some stuff with and I'll venture on to attack some enemies so thanks you guys so much for watching um, if you have not done so please subscribe to me and this has been the first walkthrough for me of Don't Starve and I hope to see you guys around next time so bye bye